you know it so i want to tell a story you like stories right so peter and paul's protection for the church that's why we celebrate a feast common feast especially in rome in italy on this day 29th june is a public holiday it's a great feast there is a feast for uh, saint paul conversion of paul 25th january and then we have saint peter's feast also even the chair of saint peter and all but those are not public holidays but when we celebrate peter and paul together even the whole rome city celebrates and it is given a public holiday and also to remember their protection their intercession for the whole church when we say rome it is it is applicable to the whole church it's a mother church so in the 4th century when uh, pope leo the great was a pope one enemy named attila king attila he is coming to destroy rome city and uh, during that time uh, there was no emperor or uh, king to protect rome politically there is no political leader there is a vacuum so he took that advantage and he want to destroy the rome city fully as he is coming pope leo the great so he went to meet this attila pope he didn't have any armies no soldiers no weapons pope went just like that then as pope leo went and he saw attila when pope started speaking this attila enemy of rome who came to destroy the rome city he saw peter and paul on the sky and they threatened attila don't enter into the city so that's how this attila goes and that's how the rome city was spared and still a surviving city more than 2000 years this shows peter and paul always protected the church and as a promise says the gates of hell shall not prevail against it no enemy will attack can attack church because these saints always intercede and they always protect christians and today these saints are remembered celebrated and they give us a model they are not the same both are very different one preached to the jews another preached to the gentiles one was silent to certain extent other was traveling visiting writing in their own ways they have done the work of god and in the first reading we also see angels came and helped god also chose each one of us for a particular purpose now you are here to get trained to be formed as angels of mercy so god has given that a particular mission and god will use you if you allow yourselves like these saints they to allow themselves when you allow yourselves in the hands of god god will help people so let us ask intercession of these great saints peter and paul that we to become apostles missionaries and workers of mercy in this world